when you learn Torah, it has to change your life. And I'm going to share with you a thought now that will define for us the aim of the entire Torah. There are certain threads that run through the entire Torah. So that if you know ahead of time, you know that every parasha you should be on the lookout for those threads. So let me give you an example of a thread that runs through the entire Torah. I'll give you an example. Says the Rambam in Hilchas Hanukkah, Shekola Torah Kula Nitna Lasa Shalom The whole Torah was made to make peace in the world. Shenema, drachel darche noyam. Its ways are ways of sweetness. The cholmesi v'yisarashon. All its paths are peace. So that means in every parish in the Torah, if you know how to look, you could see the pursuit of peace. The mission statement of Yiddishkeit to embrace Shalom. Okay, but that's not what I want to talk to you about. I want to talk to you about something else. There's a medrash in the beginning of the Torah. It's a very interesting medrash. The medrash says that the Torah starts and ends with an act of kindness. It starts with an act of kindness, as it says, that Hashem clothed Adam and Chava with a kosnas or, with a special tunic of leather. And it ends with an act of kindness. That Hashem buried Moshe Rabbeinu on Har Nevoi. So the Gemara says, in Saita Daf Yodala, the Torah starts with an act of kindness and ends with an act of kindness to tell you that the whole Torah is kindness. That's why it says, Torah Kesed al It starts and ends with an act of kindness. Very nice. Does anything bother you about this message? It should. You should be jumping at me. It says the Torah starts with an act of kindness that Hashem dressed Adam and Chav. Is that the first kindness of the Torah? Wasn't the creation of heaven and earth a kindness? Wasn't the creation of the sun and the moon a kindness? Wasn't the creation of all kinds of delicious fruit a kindness? And man? So you'll say, Rabbi Weiss, you don't understand. Why does Yasser Sadib start out that I am Hashem and took you out of Egypt? Why doesn't he say, I am Hashem that created the world? Because nobody saw that. So nobody saw these creations, but they saw that they were dressed. That's not a good answer. Because before he gave him clothes, he gave Adam Chava. Very beautiful woman. He gave Chava Adam. That was a kindness. But no, forget about the wife, the clothing. What does that mean? It's a big kasha. It's a big kasha. I always had this kasha. I never found an answer till this year. This year I found that two great tzaddikim asked the kasha, and they both gave the same answer. Rav Avram Grudzinski and Rav Simcha Zizel of Kelm, they both asked this question, and they both gave the same answer. You know the answer they gave? It's really interesting. They both, they both asked the question. Both Rav Avram Grudzinski and Rav Simcha Zizel asked the question. And they both gave the same answer. What was the answer they gave? They said... that this was the first kindness that Hashem did for Adam and Chava after they sinned. <laughs> you know, it says in the Yud Gimel Midoy Shorachmo, Hashem, Hashem, Kel Rachum Bechanon. What's the meaning? Hashem, Hashem. Why does it say Hashem twice? Hashem before a person sins, and Hashem after a person sins. Even after Hashem, a person sins, Hashem has Rachamim. 
Hashem does chesed even if we're not good. And if you think about it, that's what happened with Moshe Rabbeinu too at the end of the Torah. At the end of the Torah it says, Vayikperoi soi bagai. They buried him in the valley. And it says, why was Moshe Rabbeinu buried? Why didn't he go into Eretz Yisrael? Because you didn't sanctify me when you hit the rock instead of speaking to the rock, whatever the sin was. My Shabbat Rabbeinu was punished. He couldn't go into Eretz Yisrael. But even when punishing him, he did him the kindness of burying Moshe himself. Hashem buried himself. Hashem buried him himself. Even when he's no good, Hashem does kindness. But wait, the Gemara says an astounding thought. Torah starts with a kindness after sinning, ends with a kindness after sinning to tell you that that's the whole Torah. That's the whole Torah, to be nice to people even when they're not nice? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I tell people, this is very important, we're living in America. America is very pervasive. There's a reason why it's called the melting pot of America. America wants to have an impact on you. It wants that you should be through and through an American. But we're not Americans. We have gratitude to America. It's a malchus shel chesed. We have gratitude to America. But God forbid we should be Americans. America's a mess. <coughs> Marriage <coughs> is destroyed in America. America, <coughs> what does it have? Drugs, teenage pregnancies, suicides, spousal beating. You know what happens? If the local team loses, the local team loses, the hospitals on Sunday night are full with battered women. The husband get drunk, they're so upset, they come home and they beat their wives and put them, I know from emergency room doctors. America? We should never think like an American. Now an American always expects things to be equitable. And if they're not equitable, and the what's in it for me is not there, so then I'm out of here. I'm out of the marriage. And I put the old man or the old woman in a nursing home. I mean, it's, it has to be equitable. The idea of constantly being good to a person even when they're not good, that's a Torah hashkafa. It's not an easy hashkafa. But that's a Torah hashkafa. Rabbi Franz says that Odom Arishan demonstrated this after his wife poisoned him and the children. That's what she did. She poisoned him and the children and brought death to all of mankind. What did he call her? What would you call her? Come here, Misola. Come over, come over here, Mashchisel. Come over here, Mielskite. Come over here, Kilkel. We'll call you Kilkel. You're a Kilkel. No. He called her Chava. Ain Kol Chai. The mother of all. Could you imagine? He was setting the tone. It's, it, it, it's a remarkable thing. He was setting the tone of being nice even when the person is not nice to you. That's, that's a remarkable thing. You know... I remember hearing from Rav Miller. I remember hearing Rav Miller say that a good husband, a good wife, never interrupts what they're expected to do. He never interrupts it. The good wife goes to the mikveh no matter what. She makes the meals no matter what. The good husband... He pays the bills no matter what. He comes home to his family no matter what. Because we are people that understand 
that we're nice even when it's not deserved. I'll show you an interesting thing that Rav Karelenstein says. He says, it is an oxymoron. The word gemilus chasodim is paradoxical. Gemilus means to give in kind. Like it says, gemuloi heishiv al reishai behaman. He got his desserts. So gemilus means to get what you deserve. Chasodim means to be kind. So gemilus chasodim is a contradiction. So he explains, but that's the way Hashem is. When he's giving out the gemilus, he does it with chesed. He doesn't give us what we deserve. He's kind to us. And that's what we're supposed to emulate. What does it say about the Eishes Chaya? After the first stanza, which is the most important thing in marriage, Batach Balei Baila. The Eishes Chaya, her husband could count on her. He knows when the chips are down, he can count on her. That's a very big thing. Most people aren't that way. Most people, when the chips are down, they become ugly. Fair weather friends abound. But when the chips get that go, chips are down, people get ugly. But not the Ishis Chayel. Batach Balei Bala. The Ishis Chayel, he knows that he can count on her. Now, why is that? Look at the next line. Because Gemalasu Toi Veloi Ra, she returns good but never bad, call Yemei Chayel. You want to know why some men, if they get sick, they can't count on their wives? Because when they get sick, they get cranky. When they get sick, they get irritable. And the wife reacts in kind. So then she's no help at all. But the Yezish Kyle is Gemal Asotoyv. She only returns good. That's the kind of woman that Potach Balei that her husband can count on. 